Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview JP Michel from Ottawa. Hi, JP. How are you doing? Hi, Meher. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for being here. So JP Michel is the creator of Challenge Mindset and the Challenge Cards, which have been used by more than 70,000 students around the world. His past consultancy work with leaders led by the creation of the Spark, Spark Path, an innovative career exploratory company spotlighted on the Forbes, TEDx, CBS, and BBC. And he's been recognized as the 2022 Outstanding Career Leader by the Career Professionals of Canada. And then JP holds a degree in psychology from the University of Ottawa and a master's degree in industrial organizational psychology from the University of Manchester. And JP, he helps career advisors create aha moments for students who have no idea what they want to do when they grow up. He loves to discover exciting ways of looking at the world and what flows his learning is the opportunity to share what he has learned with others. And that's why he is here today to share with us his, uh, some of his experiences. And uh, today he works with schools that are committed to helping their students reach their potential. And finally has won the C2 Conquer Award for Leadership Potential in the field of career development. So JP, my first question for you is, let's start with chat GDP because the technology is here, everyone is using it and we kind of need to embrace it and how we can use it uh, as professional and in the academic life and how can job seekers use chat GDP when they are looking for jobs or searching for a job? Can be a great tool, Meher. Let me start by asking you, what do you think is a bigger problem for these job seekers? Not knowing what they want or not knowing how to get what they want? What's your opinion? I think it can be a combination of both. Some of them, they don't know what they want, and that's why we help them have, have a discovery calls with them and their passion. And some of them, they don't know how to tell their stories in their resume or in their interviews. Great. I agree with you. It's a bit of both, right? So whoever's listening to this, decide which category you fit in. Here's how generative AI or chat GPT can help you with both. I think the hardest one, Maher, is what do I want? Mm -hmm. That's much more difficult to figure out for yeah. most people than how do I get it? How do I get it? There is a recipe. Well, mm. We'll teach it to you. There's thousands of people that want to teach you the recipe about a great job search strategy in 2023, but figuring out what you want, you have to be at the heart of that, at the center of that. Yes. My biggest recommendation for people starting out, figuring out what they want is to first figure out the problem they want to solve, mm -hmm. the challenge they want to meet, the opportunity they want to take advantage in the world. For example, are you someone who wants to improve mental health or increase sustainable energy? Do you want to end extreme poverty or reverse engineer the brain? Mm -hmm. By first articulating the problem that you want to solve, it's going to help you get at the heart of what you want. And once you know that, it's much easier to figure out how to get there. And how to get there means how do you get a job? And ChatGPT can help you with all parts of this process. My first recommendation for someone who wants to figure out uh, what do they want is to use ChatGPT as your career coach. Mm -hmm. So here are some prompt language that someone might use. Act as, so you can write this right into ChatGPT. That's what a prompt means. Ask ChatGPT to act as your career coach. Act as my career coach. Here's a little bit of information about me. Here's what I think I want. Ask me 10 questions to help me figure out what I want. Start by helping me find the problem I want to solve in the world. Mm. This is where I would start. And then I would continue to have a conversation iterating constantly with ChatGPT. ChatGPT does not work like Google. For those of you who haven't used it very much yet, you don't put a question in ChatGPT and it gives you a specific answer. You start a dialogue with it. Mm. So think about it as an inexperienced but very knowledgeable career coach. If you continue to have a conversation and ask ChatGPT to ask you questions, you yeah. make the most out of all the knowledge that ChatGPT has about the workplace, the labor market, and that's going to help you zero in on what you want. Then after that, if you want to work on how do I get there, 
then you can ask ChatGPT, well, listen, I've determined that the problem I want to solve in the world is foster respect and understanding. I care about that. Mm -hmm. Ask ChatGPT what companies in Newfoundland, in Ottawa, in Kansas, in my region are working on this. They'll spit out a list of companies. And then you can go and research those companies on LinkedIn and see who works there. Yeah. And then you can kind of research, okay, well, these people, what jobs are they in? What previous jobs did they have? What did they have to learn to be able to do that? Some... So through this uh, generative AI, it will point you to LinkedIn company websites, and it's going to help speed up your information gathering. Okay. It's going to speed mm -hmm. up your research. So I think uh, using ChatGPT as a career coach to speed up your information gathering is one of the easiest ways to use it to improve your job search strategy. But do you think that that way career cultures like ourselves or other cultures or maybe university cultures will be eliminated or they also be there to help students? I think it's there's very few jobs that will be eliminated tomorrow because of generative AI. Even though the technology is there, you know, to build uh, the culture around the technology that we need, that's going to take a long time. I think there's still a role for private for career coaches. There's still a role for career advisors, career counselors mm -hmm. in uh, schools. Um, the culture of careers needs to dramatically change, and that's not going to happen alone through technology. It's going to require a different way of looking at careers, and that's only going to happen because of people like you uh, that are having these conversations with people about the future of work and where their future career will fit in. Thank you, JP, for your great tips. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask JP a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. Kind of a journey with us. You can like, share, put your comments. So tune in next time for another great question with JP. Thank you.